let's start at the beginning. What inspired the creation of Humans in the Loop and, and its mission to merge the tech and the conflict affected worlds? It's a really interesting question and actually quite an interesting story. Uh, our founder, Eva, and, and of course, you know Eva very well as well. Um, after completing her university education, she came back to volunteer with some NGOs in Bulgaria, where our organization is based, and really got a great experience working with others who were in the NGO sphere, and also very closely getting to know the everyday challenges and struggles of people who have been displaced from their home countries and were seeking asylum or refuge in Bulgaria. What became really clear to Eva is that there was a great deal of work going on to support people with the basics, what we would say were the bottom of the pyramid in Maslow's hierarchy of need, shelter, food, um, and also kind of the, the basics such as clothes, perhaps as well, and maybe some Bulgarian language. But really where there was a gap was allowing people, once they had those basic needs met, to step up to integrate into the society, into community, and also to become financially independent. So they could then begin to be making decisions and choices for themselves again, rather than relying on the NGO sector to support them. Eva saw a great opportunity in the field of annotation, uh, which is a very good entry level opportunity for people who perhaps have a low level of digital skills or haven't previously worked in the digital sector before. And so she saw this as a great opener opportunity for us to provide livelihoods to people. And that's how Humans in the Loop started. Uh, that, that was an absolutely amazing, amazing summary. Thank you very much for, for that.